So what happens if you want to go ahead and change the algorithm that you're using currently in your database? For example, you might be using MD5, SH1, SH256, and you might want to go ahead and implement one of the hashing methods that we've used in this series. So you just want to generate a password, password hash in the future. But current users that are in your system, you obviously need to allow them to still log in. So what we can do is behind the scenes, we can actually change the hash of their password without them even knowing it. So they go ahead, they log in as normal. Things are verified with the current algorithm you're using. For example, if you're using MD5, you would do an MD5 hash of the password that the user has supplied, then go on to actually change the hash. And then subsequently, when they log in the next time, it will still work. So we're going to look at a, a simple structure that you may want to use to implement this functionality. Now, this would obviously depend on how your system's currently set up, but hopefully the code that we're going to write in this uh, part of the series will give you a good idea of how you should be, you know, approaching the situation if you want to go ahead and change the hashing algorithm you use. And we're just going to be using the password uh, hash and the password verify, as well as a new function that we'll introduce called the pop called password needs rehash. So let's go ahead and over to our code, which is completely empty at the moment, and look at what we might need to do here. So what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to generate a password that a user may may or may not have stored. So for example, if my password to log into the system was password, if we head over to our browser, this will be the hash used in the database. So I'm going to call this stored password. So just imagine that this is the value stored in the database table. I'm going to create another variable just here called supplied password. And this is going to be the plain text password that we're going to be using to uh, demonstrate here, because we're going to have to supply this value over and over again. And this would probably be some kind of post value. So for example, dollar underscore post password. But for now, we'll just go ahead and just put a string of password. Okay, so what we need to do is first of all, introduce this password needs rehash function. And what this is going to do is it's going to check against the options that you provide whether or not a password meets the requirements of the hash or not that you expect to generate. So remember, we looked at password hash, this generated a hash with a specific algorithm and we chose blowfish in the last part and we provided some options and we chose a cost of 12 and you can obviously vary these as you want so let's go ahead and create an if statement and go ahead and use this password needs rehash function so the first thing we're checking is if it needs a rehash and we obviously need to supply the stored password of the user so within this you'd go ahead and supply the user's stored password and you need to provide the options that you're expecting to see of this password so we grab the user's password from the database we know that their user id of 10 or 100 or whatever and we go ahead and provide the algorithm we're expecting to see here and in this case it's going to be bcrypt now i'm going to go ahead and create a variable up here for the options uh, that we saw in the last part of the series just basically, so well, I'm going to be providing these twice. So I need to go ahead and just store them in a way that I don't have to keep repeating myself. So I'm going to choose a cost of 12. So I'm expecting to see or check uh, a password with Blowfish algorithm, Bcrypt, and the options that I provided up here. So what we also need to do at the same time is check that the current password, so assuming this fails, or, or sorry, assuming this returns true, it means that uh, the password does need rehashing. What we also need to do is check if the MD5 of the supplied password is equal to the stored password. So what we're doing is we're saying, does the password need rehashing? If it does, that means it's still an MD5 hash. So what we then do is check that the user has supplied the correct password. If both of these are true, then what do we need to do? Well, the first thing we need to do is store the new password and then sign the user in. So to store the new password, all we need to do is change stored password to password hash, as we've already seen, the supplied password, password bcrypt, and then the options. 
So that's going ahead and store the new password. In real life, you'd go ahead and you'd actually query your database to actually insert this or sorry rather update this value where the user equals 2 or 10 or 100 or whatever and then you go ahead and just provide the ability to sign the user in so I'm going to go ahead and just echo something out just so we can see that this has worked so I'm going to say you're in and with a changed password hash just so we know which option has been hit here so in this case, we'd expect to see this run and this run as well because the password does need rehashing. It's currently MD5 and the MD5 hash of password does equal this. So we've done the sort of login check as well here. So let's go over to the browser, double, uh, sorry, refresh here and it says you're in and with a changed password hash. So what we can now do to prove that is go ahead and just echo out stored password down here and we may want to just pop a break before that and there we go so you're in and with a changed password hash and now this will be stored in the database at the moment it's just updated this variable but that's just because we're using this as an example now we do need an else here because if the password doesn't need rehashing and md5 of the supply password doesn't equal the stored password that means that the user has already logged in and this has already run so the stored password has been updated so in this case, we would just go ahead and create a new if statement to verify the password once again. And we do this using the password verify function, providing the supplied password that the user's typed into a form and compare it to the value stored in the database. If that's the case, then sign the user in. And we'll just go ahead and say, you're in. Nothing's been changed, They've just the password's just been verified. Otherwise, incorrect details. So we can just go ahead and echo, try again. So let's go ahead and just run this once more. Once more, That's not going to affect anything because we're already providing the correct password. Let's go ahead and just copy this. And let's say we've already logged in. The new password will be stored in the database. So we're imagining this variable is our database value and we're supplying the password of password. So let's provide this first, refresh, and it says you're in. Now this, regardless has been echoed out just because we're echoing out the current hash, but this just means that the user has been signed in successfully comparing the uh, string password with a new hash here. If I go ahead and change this to password one, two, three, and hit refresh, it says try again. So the user has incorrectly supplied a password. So this could probably be structured a little bit better depending on how your application works and how you need to handle erroring and stuff like that. But basically that's the fundamentals of using the password needs hash function to check if a password in your database or stored wherever needs rehashing. Then you can go ahead and use uh, the algorithm of your choice. So in this case we've chosen uh, Blowfish to go ahead and update the hashing algorithm for passwords stored in your database.